Right, hi everybody. I thought it's such a long time since I made a video off my blog. So this is just going to be very quick. But I think sometimes it's better to show you something in real time than on pictures because you don't get a proper sense of it. And this has been really popular. Loads of people commented on this. I've had emails about this. Um, so I thought I'd just show you it in, well, can't, not really in more detail because the pictures are detailed, but just to explain about it. The surface was embroidered like I would just normally embroider a surface. There's vintage cloth laid over it. And some of these pieces of vintage cloth are very, very fragile. And some of it, like up here somewhere, there's a tiniest little speck of a brown stain on there. But it's like a pinprick stain. Um, so, But that's vintage, so it won't launder out. But I don't mind that. There's another one there. They don't bother me. Um, because it's evidence, isn't it, of the history of the cloth and that it is vintage cloth. So it was just embroidered as usual. And then the prairie points were put on the opening there. I've not hardly got any of this left. I think now, now that I've made these prairie points, I've got about six square inches of this spotty cloth left. And I can't get any more because my mum bought it for me. And where she bought it from, they told her it was the last that she bought last time. So that's a, that's a shame because I do like that, but I'm sure I can find something similar on the internet. So I started it as a white piece, just embellished it white on white, but it, I, I don't know why. Sometimes I just think something needs a lift. So then I put the spotty cloth in and I thought, well, I'm going to have to reference that red somehow. So, for example, here, there's little cross stitch hearts with red French knots at the top. And then there's bullion... Uh, wrapped loops here with little french knots and in the center of these floral motifs again there's a bullion knot with a red french knot and then over here this was quite a linear piece of cloth so i've just literally followed the lines with a running stitch i did white buttonhole there and then put red chain stitch at the edge of that just following the linear so i backed it with just normal quilting cotton, white on white pattern, you probably can't see, it's like a filigree patterning going on on there. Um, and then I lined it with plain white cotton, did that bit by hand, put the lining in, and then stitched around the top with normal sewing thread to secure it. And then I've gone round, from the start of the points, I've gone all the way around the top with buttonhole lace, and then the edges, they're all finished with buttonhole lace as well because I think it just finishes it off okay so that's that now this is what I was going to take pictures of today for my blog this piece and you might think and that will insist on going over that way and I want it that way so it's a bit irritating because I do want it to lie that way that's the way it should lie and obviously I can't iron it down because of my embroidery so since last time this has been added this partial flower these two were already on, um, so that partial flower's been added, and then I've started to do another run down here of wrapped stalks with French knot and bullion knot. Not flowers, well, yeah, flowers, but they, they just like give an essence of a flower, I think, and it's mimicking, hopefully, what's going on in over here. This was a vintage hanky, and this is part of the same vintage hanky, so hopefully it connects, it's cohesive, it, it all matches. So I still need to do one, two, three, four wrapped flowers. And then I want to put something along here, but I haven't decided what yet. And then along here, I'm probably gonna do little French knot clusters along there, just to, because I don't wanna leave it blank. That's the only reason. I just don't wanna leave it empty. Because I think this, there's a richness to this one that says embellish, embellish, embellish. Um, so that means there shouldn't, in my opinion, be any blank areas. And when it's finished, it's gonna be, that's gonna be the extreme of it that way. And that's gonna be the extreme of it that way. Don't know if that's gonna. So from there to there, and then that way, and that way. So really, one, two, three, four wraps there. Something on here, I'm debating with myself whether to make some puffs for there. Um, haven't decided. And little clusters of French knots up there. 
So that's the two things, apart from what's happening in class that I can't show you yet in Swathed in Stitch, they're the two things that are taking up my time this week. Um, but what a lovely way to spend a week. What a lovely thing to know that you're going to get up and take pictures of things like this and then spend your evenings stitching on things like this. There's no better way is there to spend a day. So I just wanted to reconnect with you really to say hi and to say thanks for keep coming back and not getting bored um it means a lot okay <laughs>